Powered by Virginia. Radio. All right, all right, all right. Hello, hey, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Queen Penny Tulips. We got to talk. You know how we do VA2 up, 2 down. Welcome to Powered by Virginia. Um, beside me, I have my girl, Love Beyond Words. Um, of Angel Speaks LLC. Um, she's here today. We got something quite different for you guys. Um, maybe chop it up a little bit. Talk about a couple of things. Let y'all mm-hmm. um, see who she is. Um, she's going to do a live reading for y'all today. And if you don't understand what I mean by reading, I mean a spiritual reading using tarot and oracle cards. So if any of you guys are interested in that and, um, you know, just curious about what all that entails, I'm here to give you some of the answers today. So, hey, how you doing, um, Miss Love? I'm doing pretty amazing today, honey. So tell people a little bit about yourself. Well, um... I want to start out by saying, well, we had a different title for the uh, for the show, so I started out with something a little different yeah, than what. Mix up. But um, I want to start out by saying the difference between me and a lot of people is I own my past. There is only one person who can truly tell my story. No one can do that better than me. Um, so that's why I'm here today to talk about. All right. So, um, what she was saying, um, on the scripts you might see mastering your power, Mm -hmm. um, the title of this show was actually supposed to be only your ghost. Um, I mistakenly typed the wrong thing in the description, but it really doesn't matter because part of only your mastering your power is Is first only your ghost. You know what I'm saying? And if you understand what your ghosts are, that's Mm -hmm. your shadow side, that dark side of your soul that you try to keep suppressed. That's not Mm going to go away until you stand in the mirror and face it. Amen. So, either way, how about we got two titles? Amen. All right. So. Okay, so um, what I do is I use my past to heal my clients. Um, A lot of my stories is what um, touches them the most because they're, all, they're in the same shoes as I was in when I was in, you know, in their situations and in their stories. Um, so, my stories are pretty much used for the highest good of all um and the reason that's the reason why angel speak was born angel speak llc was born which is a spiritual healing company that specializes in life coaching services okay i have a voice a voice that speaks life positivity and creativity into my clients um my spiritual name is love beyond words which was born probably around june 2019 um is when i pretty much started um, this spiritual journey. Um, what brought me here with Miss Penny Tulips tonight? All right. So, yeah. So, um, actually, it's really funny because um, part of my um, spirit, being on my spiritual journey actually led us, like, right into each other. It, it was so weird yes, how very we weird. became friends. Very. Um, when the pandemic first happened, um, mm-hmm. of course, um, I was working for the school system. They shut the schools down. And... Um, I was not going to sit in the house. Sorry, I just couldn't do it. So I picked up a job at the Dollar General, not from far far from my house. She doesn't live far as well. Mm -hmm. And one day she just happened to walk up to the register and I was looking at her beats. I said, oh, I like your beats. And it sparked a conversation. And I don't remember how we ended up exchanging numbers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did we exchange that time or the next time I saw it? The very first time we saw each other, we exchanged numbers and been inseparable. A lot. Ever since. since. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, Really strange for me because I don't bond with women that well. Right. I grew up in, in a house right. full of women, so you know it right. was always like, mm-hmm. you know, when you have a lot of women, especially kind of close in age, and you have a lot of estrogen going on. So I've always been the type I've gravitated towards hanging around males more. Plus, I'm kind of tomboyish and I like male things. Mm-hmm. I play football. I don't braid hair. Well, I used to. I don't anymore. But you know, um, I like anime and. I just started liking it. But, you know, movies that typically you wouldn't right. find females watching, mm-hmm. you right. know, or Absolutely. really into. Mm-hmm. So it, it kind of was that way. And then when I met her, it was like she kind of was it. She liked sports. I was like, stop playing. Yeah, I was, was going to say <laughs> I was that. Like, stop we bonded over football. Like, oh, football. not most women bonded Anybody over that football, knows me so. knows I love football. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it was kind of dope. Mm-hmm. And it, it brought me to a point where I realized that part of me 
owning my goals so that I could master mm-hmm. my power is yeah. being able to develop, to develop better, better relationships yeah. uh, uh, relationships with females. That's right. Because until I could deal with my own kind, being female, um, it would be hard for me to have a relationship with the opposite sex. Right. And I start noticing that those type of things and um, it's brought patterns. me to a point now, and those patterns, and it's brought patterns. me to a point now where I can kind of understand males even more, even though I, mm-hmm. that's who I hung around all my life. That's right. You know, so it it, it definitely was nothing but divine that divine. the two of us just. Definite yeah, divine intervention. Choice. Definite divine Definitely. intervention. Um, so happy to have uh, fallen on each other's path because that's what you know led us here. And we've been talking about doing this for a good amount of time. Oh, wow. So we're very happy to be here tonight, and I'm very happy to read for you guys tonight. I am definitely. Um, but yeah, but I want to tell you guys too. My birth name is actually Dana Matthews. For those of you who know me for real for real I just had to say that because people really might think my name is love beyond words that's just something that I literally talked to God about and said I want to start reading tarot and I needed a name and where it came from I have no clue but it has stuck with me and I thought that was going to be the name of my company but it ended up being Angel Speak LLC which still goes together with me being an angel me being love and beyond words it's unexplainable the way that I love my peoples and that's one thing I definitely express to Drika all the time um, you know I've had a lot of females you know in my life as well I have plenty of sisters as well mm-hmm. so it's tough and we talk a lot about that that's definitely how we bond because <laughs> that's definitely because I have a lot of sisters you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying and it's, it's funny because I think our mom's birthdays are a day uh, yep, like three days apart same year same year just start and it was, mm-hmm. it was wild. I was like, really? Oh, wow. It's, it's yeah. crazy. The um, synchronicities. synchronicities. Stop doing that. See? Talking at the same time. We always do that too, guys. And we text each other, each other's, uh, at the same time, at the same time thoughts. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyways. Well, anyway, on. so, um, Miss Love, Miss Love, um, what else do you have coming okay, up? One, what else do you want to tell the people about you before, um, we dig into some of these questions and we'll pause for a little, okay. little song or something. Um, get into our reading. What I do want to say is um, God is definitely has divinely guided me um, all the way on this journey. And two scriptures that have followed me the entire time. I just had to say this on the camera because the very first That's journal, um, my one of my good friends that I was working with at the time, Miss Stacy Fargo, she brought me a journal, which... You know, I talk about that a little later about the journaling, but the scripture that was there has followed me every since, which goes like this. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans, plans to give you hope and a future. That's Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And then also be still and know that I am God. Psalms forty-six ten. You know, it just jumped out to me um, on that paper when she was saying Jeremiah um, 29, 11. Mm-hmm. And this is something I'm pretty sure she'll touch a little more on as we get further along. But um, the reason she chose today is because today is 11. 11 mm-hmm. is a master number. And, and also my birth path number. Oh, wow. My life path mm-hmm. number. Mm-hmm. And um, Jeremiah 29, 11, I just saw two 11s. And then right beneath it, mm-hmm. I saw the two tens and forty six ten. So she'll further explain what all that means, what I'm babbling on about about numbers. But mm-hmm. that's very powerful. Very. I, I tell you all that now. Very. So as you all start to um, tune in and tap in, I hope you got your glass and a chair because we about to really go up there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I see a bill. I see a note that says read them the chart. You want to read yeah, I just wanted to read first? y'all the chart of of what I actually do for my clients. I actually was very prepared for this because as a Capricorn, we tend to be very prepared and very organized. And that's what I talk to my clients about a lot too is astrology and their birth charts and understanding who they are. So, um, as a Sagittarius, she's my perfect balance because we are perfect. not organized. We are all over the place and we need somebody to go watch. Yes, I'm that. <laughs> I'm that one. That's why I'm a coach. And I have to pull her out of her box sometimes. Like, Yeah. Okay, so I teach my clients. Really, a lot of them are divine feminines right now. I would love to have some divine masculines to read for. They're, 
they tend to be very scared of this laugh. I don't know why. But <laughs> moving on, I teach them to stay stay present in the moment, which is um, very hard to do. Not everybody understands how to stay present in the moment. Your mind will go off in a second, just like that. Okay. What that means. So can you explain to people what staying present in the moment even means? Okay. So as me and her are talking, my mind could be in 30 different places. That means I'm not enjoying the moment. You could be looking at me right now, but you're thinking about 80 things that you have to do. That means you're not enjoying what we're talking about. You're not understanding and you're not comprehending what we're talking about. Okay. Next, I learned, I'm um, uh, sorry, I don't mean to say next like that, but secondly, I teach them how to learn to accept their body because that's not easy for us feminists, okay? Not all masculines understand our logic in learning to accept our body unconditionally, okay? Um, I teach them how to discover how their body works um, because our body works in the way that God wants it to. So when things are going to go wrong, your body, another part tends to tell you that something is going to go wrong. So I teach you to understand when things are moving around which is called clear sentiments okay mm -hmm. understanding your body feelings okay mm -hmm. um also i discover new ways to improve their health which would be yoga which would be meditation there's so many different ways um to improve your health simply stopping eating sugar simply would improve your health Absolutely. starting tomorrow you feel what i'm saying um Exploring your needs. What do you need? Not everybody knows what they need. So that's where journaling comes in and you talk to yourself and then you understand what you actually need. Okay. Um, communicating consent and boundaries. Not everybody can, you know, stand up for themselves and tell the truth and shame the devil uh, properly. You know, without getting angry, without getting upset, without, you know, acting ugly. But I teach you how to not act ugly, but get what you want at the same damn time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, learning to communicate your wishes. It's not always easy for people it's because not. you're not always ready to really tell what you want. But what God tells me is say it like a T.I.E.L. Okay. Tell us what you want so we can help you get it. Okay, you have to talk to God just like how I'm talking to you guys. Mm -hmm. He understands who you are. You know what I mean? So just be real. Be honest. Yeah, I okay? heard that time when she was saying that because I'm going to tell you That's a confirmation. I tell people that all the time people don't understand. They, they deal with religion a lot. Yes. And I tell people, no, I'm not religious. I'm very spiritual. I'm very I have spiritual a relationship as well. With God. A when me real and God one. Talk, a real one. It's, it's a real just like conversation. I talk to my people because yeah. he wouldn't understand me coming to him any, any other way. He's like, you being it, false, you being phony. Like, it's all of me. Yeah, God like, tell like, me yeah. straight up, you being phony. I don't even yeah. like how you said that. <laughs> you playing. And and we'll get so petty with me sometimes. Like, all right, oh, keep real on. petty. And I teach y'all how to pay attention to when he talking to you nice and when he talking to you nasty. And that's just the reality of what how it goes down when you really connect with the master. Okay, which is within yourself. I teach you that as well. Um, which is to set yourself free from stigma. It ain't nothing that nobody can tell me like I started out saying, dude. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, because I seek the knowledge. That's what you do. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do as well. And the last one is to master self-care, which is mastering who you are abundantly, fruitfully, unconditionally. You don't care what the masses has to say. At all. But on period. I want to go back to number eight. Um, Go ahead. Such yourself, yourself free from stigma. I'm going to tell y'all something. Do not get comfortable being comfortable. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is if you feel something calling you, answer it. Okay. Don't sit around and say, well, I'm not sure because I grew up this and I was taught this and I was taught that. We were taught a lot of things. When I was growing up, we were taught that there were nine planets. My child came in the house one day, told me it was eight. I was confused. Then right. they told me it was five oceans. So what you were taught can be unlearned. unlearned. Absolutely. And the first thing to learn is not to be stigmatized by your spirituality and by what you're being led to do if mm -hmm. it is a thing of good. Because I remember um, it was 1996, maybe 95, but 97 when I finally did it. Cut my hair off, 
little shorter than it is right now, and I started growing locks. Well, I'm from the South. I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia, and a lot of females were not wearing locks at that time. The names that I was called, the things that were said about me, the stigma mm -hmm. that was attached to me having locks mm -hmm. at, in that time range, I didn't care. I wore my locks for 19 and a half years. I cut them off recently because I looked around and I noticed everybody had locks. I killed the stigma. I moved on. That's right. So, and at this point in my journey, when I started dealing with my spirituality and dealing with crystals and dealing with cards and dealing with this and dealing with that and looking at other religions mm -hmm. and the things that it allowed me to build on my foundation, because if you start building a house and you just build a floor, you don't have a house. That's right. And that's how I feel about religion and how I grew up. I had to learn to do the same thing. I'm going to have to walk in that stigma because in a few years, mark my words, y'all, everybody is going to be asking questions about what we're talking about right now. Amen. So lose the stigma, people. Be you. Amen. Be, and be I'm you giving people. God the glory on that one, you. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I went through it when I first started growing my locks. And I mm -hmm. appreciate all y'all ladies for accepting your beautiful selves. That's right. That's who you are. First. Just Ooh, the way you are. Had to say that. It was rough yeah. out there by myself, ladies. What? <laughs> Me too, because, um, you know, I'm kind of like tomboyish a little bit, like Miss uh, Penny and Tudor's a little bit. Like, when too. I was about 10, 11, I was actually playing quarterback out there on 3124 Illinois Avenue, Norfolk, Virginia, with the boys, okay? The only girl playing the quarterback. And I still love football to this day. Mm -hmm. Just like that, I would still get out there and play some sports. And she liked that and too. So this is why we what I wanted to play bond. quarterback. Even now, I was um, going to play flag football with um, Girl, one of the team to play. teams. And I said, well, Come if I can't on, play quarterback, play. I'm going to just be a cheerleader. <laughs> but this is why I'm still a we quarterback. Uh, no, nah, I was saying with my school team, though. But it's oh, funny because I'm still a quarterback girl um, to this day. Yeah, I, okay. I like quarterbacks. I used you to do. like Roger Starback. No, I am not a Cowboys fan. Okay. I was four we years old. I'm telling my age. Um, but, yeah, Look, Raider Nation sorry. over here. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I'm but I like Nation over here. <laughs> here in my conference. But, anyway, we're not going to talk football. I took, see how that started that quick, mm -hmm. football. And we're in the same division. And it's all right. It's all right. And she beat me. I was about to say, and we beat her. <laughs> she did. She beat me. She did. But it's all right. All right. Okay. So, so what's going on? Uh, I was going to say, I got do have something new to my love bugs that don't know. Um, I have a new um, creative service that I'm working on that's going to be called... Ding! The Name Boutique for the Unique. So, anybody who's wanting to start a business and need a name... Holla at your girl. All right. All right. So, okay. um, before we go um, on, because I see she wants to hop into this interview. First yeah, of all, I, um, I want to get some shout outs. And Mr. West, could you go grab my um, my guy for a second? Because after we do these shout outs, I want to play a song. He told me to tell you to grab him. Um, so to play... To play, sit to play. Okay, well, let me play right. some of my bowl real quick while we waiting for Mr. Loud. Yeah, oh no, we're about to give our shout outs. We're going to do that before um you do that thing. We're going to do all that. Okay. Unless you just feel like singing. singing. I, I just wanted to What's because she's going to sing for a second, y'all. Then we're going to get some shout outs and um we got some things kind of You know, I, I talk on spirits demand, and when spirit says cleanse my energy, guess what I have to do, y'all? That's all she has to sing. Cause he left the room, he come back in the room. You see, mm -hmm. that's what has to happen. So, um, all right, got my man over there back there and all the uh, stuff that I don't know what in the world to do with. Yes, um, he does such amazing over there, though. I don't have a problem with that. I love to learn. And me too. That's what I'm talking about. I love about. to learn. I'm see, very attached. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to teach Let's me to learn? Too, that's what I do. But um, first, we want to give a few shout outs. First of all, of course, shout out to um, Powered by Virginia. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Lyle Seabrook's over there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Up, we got another one of our podcast um, hosts over there, Mr. Roundtable himself, West in the Cut. We got my next week's, week's guest over here in the cut yes, trying to hide. Yes. Can't nobody Bits, see you over this there. week. Bits and Pieces Bits and coming pieces soon. Coming maybe soon. You're and Brace and Whitney will be here with us um, next week. Um, shout out to We Printed. Um, customize your life. Come see us in Norfolk, Virginia. Seven five seven four six one T's with a Z. Yeah, 
Hey. Right over near Military Circle. Y'all know us. We've been there for over a decade. Um, And shout out to anybody that I forgot to shout out because I forget stuff. So Amen. that's it. Her turn. Um, I just really want to shout out um my family that's at home that um sees what I'm doing and here. don't really understand you know what's going on shout out to my my uh my grandbabies and my two my two children um which have really watched their mom transform i mean literally i'm just going to tell y'all the truth i used to be a little bit of an alcoholic and uh they used to watch me do you know things that you know was it the best so now that you know I'm walking that path and walking right with God they actually believe what I used to tell them back then you know what I mean sometimes you can have the right heart have the right mind have the right things to say but you're just not in alignment with what you're talking about Mm -hmm. you know what I mean so they always know I'm a strong leader ain't nobody gonna tell me no different you know so now they see that power and they see that beauty and they see that fire coming you know what I'm saying and I have a son I want to shout him out um Dolo Boy um Al he uh definitely is a rapper up and coming um star model um doing his thing so yeah about to go into Merchant Seaman and uh yeah I got some beautiful beautiful children which he'll be 21 and I have an 18 year old so Congratulations. Yes. Alpha. Congratulations because I'm done, baby. <laughs> you No, that's I'm right. I'm done and very blessed. You know what, Mr. Seabrook? What's good? I'm sorry to have disturbed you from your task at hand. Oh, no, no. But I think good? you should come in like right at the end and we use that to take it out. Take it out. I don't even want to disturb the flow right now. We yes, gonna keep going. Yeah, that way you come in. That yeah. that be like the tap on the shoulder type thing. Like yo, I'm about yeah. to hit this button, shorty, because we might get the going. Yeah, All I right. told you we can. We, we got these. That no. Thank you. It's very sweet though. It's this very sweet uh, thing for the atmosphere. So now that I uh, excuse me, fucking all up now. I'm trying to get you him. Know, he won't catch him a telepathic thing. Oh, I need the right so um Asher. Wait. Right there back at that speaker. Y'all excuse us as we readjust. I wish I could throw it like a look. Matter of fact, we're going to put a picture up for y'all. Small commercial yeah. break, okay? Hold up. Commercial break. I just need to grab this. So, <laughs> you could have burned me up. Hey there. <laughs> Not on guys. camera. Yes, y'all see that angel speak. Y'all see that? Yeah. I ain't even know that was going down like that. So, anywho. So, um... Why we getting on? Let me see your light. <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. Y'all really do. And it does That's not help to have like somebody you know like me saying? around. And we just it goofy too. Make sense. Dumb and dumb. It don't make sense. Yes. Trying to tell y'all we need the damn scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and she would ride it too, y'all. <laughs> she I don't want the pink helmet. <clears throat> I want a purple one. I said I got pink. See? And now, who's we, the dumber? Who's the dumber? We ain't figured that part out yet. And we want to go skating. Who want to go skating? We want to yes. have a skate party. We got, we got Who want to go skating? For real, yes. That's what we're going to do. We got to talk skate party. Yes. Yeah. Summertime. I said it, so now Hold we got to do it. That's how we manifest. That's this another thing I teach y'all. Yeah. Manifesting. We're doing you that. hear me? I'm definitely Because we it. manifested this. We just didn't tell y'all that. Mm-hmm. Telling you now, though. But I'm cleansing this energy, y'all, with some sage and some bay leaves here. And what else is up here with me? No, that's... She's a sage specialist over there. She's going to talk to y'all next week. Huh? Actually, that one is mine. That's, um... Oh, shit. Well, that still. is sage. Yeah, anyway. It's got eucalyptus. Okay, eucalyptus. Um, bay leaves and some wildflowers. Okay, yeah. Alright, honey. I smell flowers. Oh, that smells so good. Who's this texting me? They know I'm on air. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I what we're about what? to do right now is get these numbers together because oh, Ms. Um, that, Dana is about to play my little game. Okay, I guess I am. And a little later on, y'all, if anybody wants to call in and have any questions, the number is 757 964 964 what yeah I thought it was 967 no jeez oh, he said 964 9367 somebody call and see if it works we're gonna get it right we're gonna <laughs> shop that up when those lines open up I thought it was 967 so I haven't committed to memory yet and anybody that knows me know I memorize numbers 
I memorized everybody's phone number. I used to have everybody's social security number memorized in my house. Yeah, that's her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I got too many numbers in there. And they start mixing up. It went from two kids to remember the four kids. Nah, they, and then they messed me up because, you know, socials in Virginia started with one set of numbers and they switched around and went about 10 digits. I'm like, wait a minute. No, y'all just confused the situation. So anyway, that's just telling y'all too much. So um, in the meanwhile, we're about to play the game called Pick Your Poison. She's going to pick the questions that I'm going to ask her today. Okay. All right. So pick the number one through ten, so we can see how many um numbers I'm gonna do. Seven. Seven. Sounds like a win to me. And we're gonna make seven little numbers. Okay, y'all. We're gonna see what's getting ready to go down. Don't yeah. mind anything that comes out of my mouth. She knows. Oh no, that this I'm is uncut raw. If you get offended, you might want to scroll on to you another just, page. You really just quick, might. You just might not want to hear what we have to say. Because I do tell it like this a TIE. Is. That's what my ladies love about me. That I'm going to tell them the truth. Unchecked. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If he ain't, sh- then I'm going to say it. Okay. So yeah, any of you ladies got? Um, one the ladies one? love love readings. You know what I mean? They always want to know about love. So, I'm going to tell you the truth. And you don't even have to um, call in. Ask the questions in your mind and listen. And exactly, because I read out. minds. That's what it do good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Love. To have... to telepathic communication is really real for those who really don't believe that. Real. You think it's a coincidence you would think about somebody and they called you? They would think I do you. it every single time to everybody. Not one person. Everybody. It's not a coincidence. Nothing is coincidence. So many people have told me I hit them up when they needed prayer. I mean, in the midst of the storm, I call. It boggles me. I don't even know how I do it, but I do it every single time, every day. Ever since I was small, I did that. She's playing too much. Gotta make it fun. I should have bought some dice, but I might have asked, you know what I'm saying, asked somebody they had two more. And guess what I got? Number three. Number three. That's wild, because that's the one um, my lady T spills and mills. Didn't she start with three last week? Yes, that's she That's the one did. she picked last week. Okay, and what's the question? But, yeah, number three is different. Uh-huh. Okay, it's fine. Because I don't know what she said. Any- what was the question anyways? And it's supposed to be this one. If you had to write a book tomorrow, Ooh. what would you write about? I already know that one. That's so easy. I have so many book titles already, but the first book is going to be a book of ideas because I'm very good at having ideas. That's why I have the creative side of my aspect of the business coming into play because I God told me I'm not supposed to do everything that I think of. I'm just supposed to tell people what I'm thinking of, if that makes sense. Um, I'm an Aquarius rising, so my mind goes a lot of different places. You know, so yeah, a book of ideas is that's what's coming already. All right, all right, all mm-hmm. right. So, a book of ideas. Mm-hmm. You heard what she said. You don't share them till you're ready mm-hmm. to share them. That's right. All right, pick poison. Next question. Mm-hmm. She's not gonna stump me. <laughs> I got one for y'all. Five. Five. I hope she don't. What occupation, other than what you currently do, mm-hmm. would you like to try? When I was a kid, y'all, I really actually want to be a doctor. That's the first thing that I thought about. But now, I really believe I would do good in a classroom. Like a classroom setting, a teacher. What I want to teach just yet, I don't know. But I really know that God is pushing me that way anyways. Because that's what I'm doing when I'm talking to my people is I'm teaching them. So... He wants it in a more controlled setting, though. I see what you're saying. Because I would say, right. you know, naturally you are a teacher, mm-hmm. but, you know, in an organized, controlled setting, I could, def- I could definitely see you doing mm-hmm. that, leading the class, no doubt. Yep. Even the principal, maybe, you know, principal of... That's that Capricorn shit, y'all. Y'all see she went straight from the classroom to the office to telling the, the teachers office. what to do. Uh-uh, y'all, uh-uh, y'all ain't doing it right. I'm a good job. Because I'm a leader, <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people claim to it's be not bosses... Bad, I claim to be a leader. There's a big difference in that. You know Can what I mean? Say that again. There's for the, a big uh, difference. 
bosses in the nose bleeds. Yeah. We need more leaders out leaders. here. Leaders. I lead. Nobody trying to take your you job. You know what I mean? You're going to retire one day. On period. Everyone knows this. Feel your shoes. Some of y'all were to death. You that's my strength, and I stand on it. That's what I'm saying. Can't nobody tell nobody about me but me. And that's what I do very well, is lead. I write. That's what led myself here. Let us right here. Boom, 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 boom. Um, boom. I'm going to pick, pick my stump question. I got one for y'all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> she know that spirit talks to me, right? They tell me what they're going to ask me. Number two. That ain't the question. Hmm. See? What's the biggest <laughs> compliment you've ever gotten? Have right now, whatever proper English is, we ain't doing that on the show. Right That's now, I really have people telling me that I have changed their life. I've. That's the biggest thing that anybody could tell. Wow. Anybody. Yeah. I mean, literally, amazing. like I have a young lady that really told me that. In her book, when she writes hers, I'm one of the main characters, and that's pretty big. That is, you know, pretty big. That's awesome. That's that's definitely never awesome. seen that's any awesome. of this. You know, starting out to be changing lives in this mm-hmm. this kind of way, and that's why we're here, so we can change more. Absolutely, it's some things that we were put here to do, whether we want it to or not. That's and right. That's, why that's I right. Believe, I was telling um a student I was talking to today. You know, she was saying she wasn't sure exactly what she wanted to do yet. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Um, well, what grade are you in? She was like, I'm a freshman. And people to tell you, well, it's time for you to start figuring it out. Yeah, they do. And I told her, I said, baby, let me tell you something. I knew Mm -hmm. what I wanted to be from kindergarten until my freshman year in college. Mm -hmm. Dead set. From the time I was five years old until my freshman year in college, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Horses specifically. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work on horses, but I wanted to be a veterinarian. Interesting. Let's just say by um, freshman biology took me out. I know that's right. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Won't for me. That damn biology, honey. Ended up changing my major all the way to history pre-law. I decided um, I'm going to go into law or education. And that's kind of where I still teach the title of the line. I, so I told her, take your time and figure out what you're passionate about. Because right. that's what you are supposed that's to right. be doing. Not what somebody that's else right. told you to do. What you that's right. think. You're that's right to be and don't let nobody rush you that's what mm-hmm. i'm really learning because a lot of the age group that i speak to um are between like 19 and 24 so at that age they really don't know what they want to do Absolutely. and they have parents that they live with that rush I'm and pushing. push and mm-hmm. push and i'm so happy that i did not do that to my children because my son found his calling on his own and i'm very proud of him and i can't wait for y'all to hear his music you feel what i'm saying yeah yeah Matter of fact, you should have told me that we could um. He do a lot of cursing, y'all, and I I, I don't know well, if I want to play. I that mean, <laughs> I ain't on front. The song I have kind of doesn't match exactly the message, but yeah, but I didn't you know want to mix and mix, it's, mix it's the messages. But it's my top. son's it's music, you know what I'm saying? But next time, honey, I'll make sure it's tolerable. You know what I'm saying? It's not over the top. It's not. Like, he got this song called Location. Though, look him up on Instagram, Dolo Boy, Dolo Boy hey, Twenty. Man. No, wait a minute. Don't let me not mess his name up, honey. Cause I want y'all to go follow him. Call your father, like, Ma, what are you doing? I'm gonna call him right on his stand on this thing. But anyway, in the meanwhile, yeah, in the meanwhile call him, let me get y'all to call in. They gonna mess. Um, I'm gonna mess this number up. Lord, y'all ain't memorized it yet. What you say? Nine six four. Ninety three. Six seven. Nine Y'all call on in because um, in a very few minutes. Miss Love Beyond Words is going to whip out those cards and give y'all some answers that y'all might, might yeah, be doubting might yourself be about. Whatever you want to know, you already know the answers. In your mind. She just going to yes, confirm what you've been thinking. Exactly. So anyway, What's your Instagram? Blast. What's your Instagram? Look I'm all on live asking you your Instagram, but I'm trying to shout you out, son. I need everybody to... What is this, on? I'm saying it on camera right now. On, on the mic. Money making out, it speaks for itself. Let's get it. It's nothing yeah. wrong. Oh, we oh, got we a got phone call. I got to go soon. Somebody's on. calling in. All right. Hey, 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 we got to talk. How you doing? You speaking with Queen Penny Tulips and Miss Love Beyond Words. How are you? I'm well yourself. How you doing today? What's your name? How you doing? Oh, excellent. How you doing, hey, Felicia? Felicia? 
I'm great. You got a question for love or for me? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do a general message, and I'm pretty sure you'll get what you came for in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, so stay tuned, because when she starts pulling those cards, you know what I'm saying, she starts definitely speaking on the career yeah. part. Now that you're tapped into that energy, okay. yeah, I'm gonna tap in. sitting there. Thank you. And we're about to get to that in a very few minutes. Okay. Thank you for coming. All right, thank you, sis. All right, all right, all right. Anybody Thank else you. got something y'all want to put into the energy before she gets into these cards? Go ahead, call up now. It could be love questions, general questions about where things are going. I'm going to tell you something I've been finding because I, I do readings for myself. I typically don't do them for other people. But um, all of my cards have been coming to me telling me big changes, big mm -hmm. changes. And I know I've been going through a transition, but the changes that my cards are telling me is not something that's going to be a gradual thing. It's going to be basically like overnight i'm gonna wake up and things are about to be different right so um that's something i know and yes. some of that you know that energy know might be in there so you oh, know yeah. if you're going through some things and you're wondering why mm -hmm. she might have an answer it might that's be right. that those things that are being shared away from you that's are right. being shared away from you for, for something reason. better to grow mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like my tulips here i'll explain those another time but um you know my petals are starting to fall off. They have to fall off. The flowers mm -hmm. have to fall off for those bulbs down in that dirt to regrow next year. That's so right. that's what that's happens. Right. It, it looks that's ugly. Right. It looks painful. That's right. But it's a process. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for calling, Felicia. We're going to get to that in a very few minutes. But let me... Um, but uh, hold on. Okay, so one of, the, one of the gifts that I have, y'all, is Claire Audience. And I get songs um, through my head. So what I just heard when she was talking is, hold on, change is coming. Okay. Hold on. And I'm not singing, but change, change is coming. coming. Yeah, that song. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. That song right there. Okay. Yeah, I get a lot of that too when I'm thinking songs. Songs just pop in my head. But I, I, did, I don't um, relate mine to uh, Claire Audience as much mm -hmm. as just loving music because I'm more. But I think Claire you should. Cognizant. And it I might be. Because, I think you, know, you should because you know, you know a lot of times a lot of times I hear songs in my head and then I get around your self. And, and then you play the songs. So <laughs> it makes time. sense. So it, music, it puts you it puts you in I love music. for those of you who hear songs just randomly in your head, sometimes it really is giving you a green yes. light on a situation that you're gonna be in at a later date. You could walk in the Wawas. And that mm -hmm. song could be it's playing funny. on the radio. And you could be having the worst day, but that means God showed you that I'm going to send you this song and let you know that I'm here with you and regardless of what's going on. And it's okay. going to be okay. It's, it's, sometimes there's a message in it. Come from the crazy. Exactly. See, y'all hear that come from this over there? Yeah, see. Tell y'all, bells don't just ring for nothing. They don't. Pay attention to that. When, you, when your phone go off, when... All kinds of things. It's, it's a lot of science signals. We could do a, a whole. We could whole do a whole episode on science episodes synchronicity. On, on all of this stuff, which we might we yeah. can visit this anytime. Y'all let us know what you think about it. Yeah, please so, let us know. Whoever is commenting, let us know what's going down. You know what you're thinking. Um, and if you need help, definitely I'm gonna give y'all everything. You know, towards the end. But yeah, I'm here. That's what I'm here to do. You know, here a more healer of the ages right. and the tarot DJ is what I call myself. Oh, the Terry DJ. Look, y'all, I had an ex that DJ, and he don't know that he taught me so much that I'm using right now. So every situation, baby, is useful. I really like that. I never heard you say that before. You ain't never heard me call myself the Terry DJ. Yo, yo, trap though. I got a logo. Wait. No bull. Shout out to Versa of Manhattan. Yo, I got Wait. a logo. Me, my bro Versa. My cousin, um, Jeremy, shout out, Jerm, top shot out. I see you, bro. Um, I did a logo. I was gonna do a magazine. We had a um organization, cause a lot of people might not know, but I might not be an artist, but I've mm -hmm. always been involved in music. Oh, she's local yes, music, all she stuff. loves so a lot of dope eating. things. Like people sleep on Drinker. She loves a lot of dope. Things, you know what I'm saying? I give her that credit all the time. She has opened me up to so many. I know, I know, but I just want to say it because it's what I want to say. Because I'm her friend, that's what I'm gonna say. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate her power. You know what I mean? And I tell her all the time, just stand in it. You know what I mean? On it's a very uncomfortable thing, y'all. Y'all don't understand because people. She's so powerful. 
that sometimes I'm being mean when I set those boundaries. You were talking but what? About that's what we want. Like we're talking about we're that. See, this is why. Mm. To see how we do. See? Mm-hmm. Anyway, we were in a moment. Um, no, but oh, I was I, talking about um, Jeremy. I was saying Jeremy and Pope, and I have a logo. Yes. If I can get it out of this old computer that I refuse to throw away, and the only reason I would not she's so vintage throw this computer away is because that logo is stuck in it. It was for a purpose. But it wasn't for the purpose mm, I created See, it see, this we were just talking exactly about. But what you just said, dog. I'm going to show it you going to be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it out of probably here. I'm probably going to so make anyway, me cry because it gets Mike, sentimental crazy, really, you just really easy. Think of that. So anyway, of course. So I, you hear that? That phone thing? Again. Mm, okay. It's time. Then it's go time. time. Another, go. another venture. Go. You see that? Go. Right on camera. See, and it's funny you said go time. At the end of the um, thing, I got my homeboy. That's the name of the song? It's go, baby, go. Girl. See, now it's not, it's not. See, I ain't gonna say ain't it. no it's such got thing a as a home. It's got like a '90s type. If you like and '90s, and look at my outfit. Pop, my outfit yeah. is kind of '90s because guess what my friend said before I left. He said, "You look like TLC tonight." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, I guess I am." That was my genre. That was my, you know, look. Hmm. Y'all know that, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Wish we hey, had that. Pick a number, baby. Pick your poison. Come on, she gonna pick my number, y'all. She thinks she sees me. Of she's trying to. I don't see nothing. She is not gonna. Four. She's just not gonna let me stomp her. Um, I'm trying. No, that one ain't gonna work. Cause you already talked about that. If you can start a business tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So yeah, pick yeah. another one. See, right. she gonna get my number, y'all. She's trying to. She's trying to. It's so funny. I just wanna Six. ask her this. That ain't my number. But anyway. Okay. What are three other podcasts you like to recommend to my audience and why? Um, well, I want to shout out my homegirl, um, Brittany, which she has a podcast called Ish Happens. Ish um, Happens. That's about the only one that I really listen to right now. So I can't. So we're going to shout her out three yeah. times. All right? Yeah. Three and times. Miss Brittany Ish Happens. She has a YouTube and she also is on Instagram and, and Facebook at Ish Happens. And wherever you stream your podcast. All right, so whatever you so we're gonna do one more, and if she don't, it's only two more left. If she doesn't pick my number, that means I'm very smart. <laughs> that's what it means. She's trying to. That's it right there. Hmm. <laughs> one. Are y'all serious? Give my See? Call, <laughs> I told y'all. I think I'm gonna make that one of my signature questions. I told that everybody y'all. has to answer. You're not gonna get away. What do people misunderstand about you? They think I mean. You're a Capricorn. Y'all are mean. I'm not mean. Shit mean. Okay. This is my sister listen. Capricorn. And out of all my sisters, this is the only one. And I love my baby. Hey, Shannon. If you watching, she don't think I like I don't like her. I love her. And anybody that know, know I will hop But listen, off the top some of Capricorns her. are not in but they, we are always loved. All of them. But. Like, that's just real, the reality. I'm mean, man. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so let me. Okay, let me. See Maybe that. you got okay. some softener in your chart somewhere. What's what's your softener in your chart? Cause just cancer. Capricorns. I have Cancer and I have Scorpio, so that brings Wait a minute. little that, softy. Hold on, she just went from mean to crazy to to even crazier. Evil. That's what I was gonna what say. in the world? The Scorpio. Oh, I said, what softens your chart? Ooh. We went from Capricorn to Cancer. So and if y'all I know guess. anything about the charts? That's the goat, the I am crab, a goat. I am a and goat. the scorpion. Yep. I'm going to eat your ass up. But, <laughs> but, not on purpose, not on purpose. Um, So, I can say that, though, because just be, just because of my face, people will say, you look mean. Like, you, you can't that, just, that no, don't person. misunderstand yeah. me like that, because I'm not that. And I put 444 on her timer, so I know that I'm not that. She's not y'all. I'm gonna be honest. She's not me. Okay. But Capricorns. I, we we can't. We just if tell it like really it's you. Don't deal with them people. Mm-hmm. They 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 can be count. But we cut through. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I can I can say that. I'm a very blunt person. Same same reason I house. They even blunt her. I don't know what she's talking about. No, what? exactly. What she's gonna say? Okay. So next question. I got my um. <laughs> I got some signature signature uh questions to okay. ask you. Um. Da, 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 da. Where can listeners find you online? Where can they find you? Okay, here? so right now you can find me on Instagram at Love Beyond Words 414. Um, and where everything really started, though, let me shout that out. I don't watch that out first. It's my YouTube channel, which is now Tear It with Love Beyond Words. It's really where I want everybody to go, and you can follow everything from that point forward. Tap in with me to hear what I have to say. All right. Okay. Tear It with Love on Beyond YouTube. Words. 
Women. Tarot with Love Beyond Words on YouTube. Oh, the tar- Tarot with Love Beyond Words on YouTube. Yes. What was the other one? Love Beyond Words 414 on Instagram. Love Beyond Words 414 on IG. Yes. All right. So, um, if you could go back and give your 18-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? Listen to my damn self because I knew everything then that I fucking know now. Exactly. Me being just listen to honest. Nah, listen, listen to what self. I would say I had a right mind. I really chose the wrong things. Okay. Like, I really know that I did that. Because I know at 18, I was listening to my lower self. And I, I, I was know. I was just freshly married at 18. Um, I probably wouldn't have married so young either. If you didn't listen to that. If I would have listened that, to that, that self. That higher self. That was that, like, yeah. girl, what in the hell is you doing? <laughs> That's right. true. And the last question. What's one question you wish I asked you? And how would you have answered um. Ooh, I might have got my stomp question in. Anyway, boy, look she how that's the question tried I to like work that in there. Yeah, see, um, she's smart, but I'm smart too. That's why we lie. Exactly, like that's that. why we lie. <laughs> on period, because we smart together, honey. But what would say it again? I remember the last part. What did I ask? What? You? What's one question you wish I asked? You, I you? wish you would. How would you have me? answered it? Um. Hmm. What? Hmm. What do I want to know about myself right now? I be knowing so much, girl. I pull all these cards on myself. Um. Not, yeah, something that you would have wanted me to ask you for the people to know about you. You know you. They want to know. How you. old am I? Ooh. Ooh. Because mm-hmm. I changed be a dragon. My, she might be about three thousand years old. So, like, yeah, to America. Yeah, that's something. Um, my my favorite Eddie Murphy. Because I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Golden why Child. I said that though. Now that it just came, yeah. Because I'm actually, I'll tell the people, I'm actually forty years old, and I get a lot of I look younger. And this man told me I looked older than forty, and I almost wanted to slap him. Because I since when I get I I've been getting ID forever. And he said that. I was like, oh, no. They playing with me. They playing with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I told they my agent. Test, they was testing me on my patient, and he was talking to me at the same time. Oh, I told her, like, Roger, stop that. I keep telling my age, like, over and over subliminally. So, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Because you're good. But, yeah, you're but good. I want people to know. Yes, I am. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Let's move on to this last part because we got a few minutes left. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading, you four, guys. 4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah. I, I can't make this up. 4-44. Four, 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 yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is um, Love is going to take us through uh, um, energy clearing. It's yes. like uh, if you want to say ritual, bold, yeah. if, it, if ritual makes you uncomfortable, it's just a practice. Mm-hmm. If that's a little more comfortable sounding for you. But what you do is it's several ways to clear the energy because energy in, in your space can get stagnant. That's you right. don't get stuck. When you walk in a space and it feels stiff, but there's mm-hmm. no reason for it to feel stiff, that means it's energy stuck there that needs to be moved and free so it can flow. So there's several ways to do that. You could do that with sound. Mm-hmm. You could do it with, um. Uh, you saw a few minutes ago, she burned some smoke. You could use smoke to clear and mm-hmm. move the energy. We've had a candle lit the whole time. We have crystals out here. She has selenite on the oh, table. I don't have all my other ones with me. Them. That's what I'm missing. My box. Yeah. Oh, and um, she has a box over here. Yeah, so that's what another ahead. question you could ask me. What is in that box over there? I didn't even so, know. And it's my favorite, like, metallic rose um, gold. I'm, I'm yes, such a rose so gold So, everybody, junkie. this is what I'm um, the box. currently um, selling like hotcakes. Is my self-start. Wait a minute. Self-care starter kit. Starter kit. Um, because self-care is, um, you know, you have to start somewhere. It's, it's, it's a must um, and becoming spiritual and awakening is to take care of your body, your mind, your spirit, and your heart at all costs. So, I'm just going to tell you guys what's in the box. We have um, my oil, which um, I have an oil line called Circle of Love. Um, this is called Universal Love. It's for your heart chakra made to be in a diffuser or in an oil burner. And she loves this one. I love that oil. Let me tell y'all something. Yeah, she loves this one. I I used to just put it in the top of my head so I could smell it all day. Yep. No, well, I 
I just dropped yeah. a couple of drops and rubbed it in right it in the crown. It smells so, so freaking good. I could smell it all day. Man, um, just ran out. We have some bath salts here um, mm-hmm. because taking a spiritual bath is definitely very, very important. I love to just sit in the tub. I also have instructions in here on how to smudge and a prayer to say as you're doing so, as well as your smudging tools, which is a white sage and a Palo Santo. And then we have a free um, rose quartz crystal in there. Mm-hmm. And for that hot sh- heart chakra, it's self supposed love, to have a um, you know, yes, um, a bracelet in here, but I forgot the bracelet. And we have a coupon in here that gets you a buy one, get one free, um, service. So if you buy the box, you get to buy you a free, get you a free service eventually. All right, you know what I mean. Now, right over here, so and you can purchase those. To come, man, people need to start accepting the fact that. We have to start here and start cleaning up some of these um, comic contracts we have. That's, that's right. Keeping us bound and stuff. Bound and saying, running stuff. in circles. Running like a hamster wheel. We just that's running right. in circles. Running in circles. You running. Mm-hmm. But you ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Because you got to clean out all that energy. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and get our energy um, cleared up in here. Um, oh, purchase those boxes, so y'all. www.lovesbeyondwords.net. Okay? On period. If you guys would like to close your eyes, take some deep breaths in through your nose, blowing it out through your mouth with the intention to release anything that's stuck, stagnant, holding you back, that's in the way from you um, obtaining freedom to be free, to be who you are, um, to be who God called you to be. We want to release that in this meditation. All right. Absolutely. Let's go. Breathe in through your nose, hold and release slowly through your mouth. Become aware of every part of your body from your toes to the top of your scalp. As you breathe in slowly and deep, feel the air move through your lungs, go to your alveoli and go and see your bloodstream and touch every single cell and give it a vibrant touch of life that just makes it dance. Feel all of those vibrations as you cleanse out all of that dirty, toxic stuff, sludge that you've picked up in your energy throughout the course of the day. Let it go. Breathe in clean, positive energy. Let's go, y'all. All right, so what I'm going to get first is a card out of this deck called um, the Priestess of Light Oracle. It's going to give me an overall energy of what's going on for the collective right now. Holy Spirit, thank you for being here with me. What does the collective most need to know right now? When I'm talking to the cards, I be playing a lot, y'all. So don't mind me if I just start singing and start talking because that's how I connect with spirit, okay? And I'm her hype man for the day, so if, if something pops in my head and I say it subtly into the mic, it might be for you, because the collective is all of y'all. Know that this is a general message. If these messages are for you, you will feel them in your heart chakra. If they are not for you, it's just not for you. You were just meant to hear what is happening. Um, you may be a message for somebody around you. Know that as well, okay? Mm-hmm. Take what resonates, throw the rest away. Throw the rest out because it's not, it's not necessary. You know what I mean? Some a lot of I want to say a lot of people who have never had a reading or understand what's going on, they take one thing that I say and expect it to happen right then. Know that if anybody tap in with me, I can see a year to two years down the road. So um it can be like that. You can be looking for stuff that's not supposed to happen right now, but I teach you to not do that but when you start out it's so hard to to stick with one reader and actually follow the guidance that be the difference the guidance that i give here is to be done because like in our society is so many people that are looking for instant gratification instant gratification nothing happens it don't work like old school baby and with spirit oh you gonna work honey and it's not coming just the way you think that it is so, okay, someone, the lady who called in, she said something about having gaining clarity. Clarity is right here on the bottom of my deck. We have clarity. Alicia, you listening? Yes, it says planning and releasing illusions. So whatever illusions you have around time limit, 
it's time to let that go, Miss Felicia. And what we have to work on as a collective, as a whole, is balance. Okay, we have a number 40 card here, card here which I called out 444 four, four, twice mm -hmm. as I was sitting here. Um, it's talking about stability and standing firm. A lot of you have powerful healing hands. Mm -hmm. A lot of you need to come up with something to use your hands. We're in a creative season. Yes, create, yeah, create, create. Today is a number four day overall, I believe, as well, which makes a lot of sense to why this came out, which definitely talks about becoming stable in whatever it is that you want to do. Just get grounded in it. You're going to gain some clarity on whatever it is if you don't know. Okay, but you have to release illusions whatever that illusion is for you we also have a four and a five here four five and six do you see that wow. angelic see assistance divine guidance and love and support know your angels love you know that your ancestors are standing behind you a lot of y'all probably seeing eagles right now you see a lot of wings the color blue and gold is the color of the year which is definitely here right here um as well um overall in the number six year you guys so um you're going to regain control um, it's a lot of transitions going on in our lives at one Absolutely. time. That's that five, okay? that, that number of change, a lot of... But it causes a change. lot of chaos, okay? Absolutely. A lot of chaos. So we got eight of cups on the bottom as I'm getting ready to start. So that means there's some things that everybody needs to walk away from. Do you guys see how she is walking away? There are some emotions that have overspilled and they're done, okay? Um... And it's time to let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Whatever it is. It looks TKO, like another yeah. love. TKO. It's time love, to let it go. Might be your career, but if something okay. that's, that's plaguing so you like, like that. Yeah. On period. It's time to go On period. Away from Let's get some tearing and see what else that I have for the collective here. Holy Spirit, what else do we have here? But know that somebody's seen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of birds. All kinds of birds. But eagles. Me. I just told you I that know, today, man. But it's, it's, not, it's, it's not supposed to be. I keep telling you. It's, Even it's, I'm it's really. Yeah. It's like the cardinals, it's, it's big birds blue jays, too. and hawks. I see a lot. And, and, and crows. A lot of us are and needing black to um, then, um, like cleanse yeah. your crown chakra. She has gold on her head yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, be mindful of downloads you receiving through your crown chakra, especially when you go outside. The birds it's are definitely talking downloads to downloads to the people because, you okay. know, some, some of the collective may not understand because it's funny I had one when we came in here earlier. Okay, the download is definitely receiving the clarity that mm -hmm. you hear something in your head that, like I said, a song. That's a download. Okay. Um, you're going to hear a lot of those things. Songs. Um, I high pick up rings. heavy. Mine are always high pitch ring. Or or, or your your ears are ringing, mm -hmm. and know that when your ear is ringing, there's a message that is coming through. Pay attention to the birds that are around you when your ear starts to ring. Then pay attention to what you say out of your mouth. That is the message. That, that's yeah. And I told Drika about a situation with my about, nephew. What was being said around you, whenever you start hearing that. For somebody's no gonna reason. somebody's gonna There's say something, something around, around you. you that you need to yeah, yeah. pay attention, pay attention. To. Um, one it's of like my nephews, mom. I heard a ringing in my ear, but he started talking, and the, what he told me was, Dana, don't eat that candy. And I'm like, I don't even have any candy in my hand. What are you talking about? Spirit told him to tell me exactly what he said, so I wouldn't get a toothache. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But. That's how they get you sometimes when you're not paying attention. It comes from a little child. You thinking he just talking talking random to you. No, he's not. He's telling you exactly what God ancestors just told him to tell you. But sometimes we just shoot a kid and be like, get out of my face. You know what I mean? But I was like, oh, no. Yeah, that was spirit talking. But anyways, this is how I get going. You know what I'm saying? Get to talk. Follow me on my YouTube channel. You'll see I get to talking. Long. If y'all have something specific, because we don't have a whole lot of time yeah, left, go ahead and make that phone ring. Call right, number out to me. I have committed 757-964-9367. You know you got a data. I have the power. Now, the we got power every codes. 967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-967-
get a secret reveal. Like, there is some illusion around maybe a relationship with a family member, a lover, a friend. I'm not sure. Maybe Pisces energy. Don't like to really call out signs that much because people really get confused when you call out the signs. Mm-hmm. But um, this also could, also could represent some fear here. I really do pick up fear on the other end of whoever is watching. Um, but that is an illusion. Fear is only to test you. Okay, it's okay to be scared. I tell everybody, it's okay to be scared, but don't it's let it stop you. Instinct. Don't let it stop you. There's some um, standing firm that has to happen in order for whatever stability you're seeking. Um, it's needing you to actually be clear on what you want to plan and actually plan it. That's releasing an illusion right there. It's actually plan what you want. Um, and drop the fear. Also, we have a powerful full moon eclipse this weekend, guys. This is definitely re- representing this. Be so mindful. That I'm looking at. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So be mindful of chaos. This mm-hmm. we definitely can. Okay. There's really underworld initiations going on. So people are Ooh. really out here. The veils are very thin. Very yeah. The thin. veil is very thin. So just be mindful of that and stay balanced. Affirm. I am balanced as much as possible throughout this full moon eclipse this weekend. Because the energy is going to be strong. There may be an argument that comes through um, with a lover, a friend, a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, whatever the case may be. All right, we got a call, Miss Love. Let's see who this is on the line. Hey, 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 we got to talk with Queen Penny, Tulips, and um, Love Beyond. Turn, turn your phone turn down. Turn your phone down, baby. Uh, we got a lot of feedback. Yes. Absolutely. Peace, peace. How you doing? You speaking with Queen uh, Penny Tulips and Miss Love Beyond Words. Who we speaking to? Hey, Queen. It's Belinda. How are you? Also known as Alchemist Dream. How you doing? All right. Peace, peace. So you got a question? Uh, um, My question is, you know, like we met with where they started yesterday and it affects me. I'm a Gemini. How came out of it? Is this going to be for me? Um, For the Gemini's. Um. My grand with this. Woo! Um, it's not gonna be too too bright for the Gemini's. But what I need you to do is just journal, journal as much as possible your thoughts and how you are feeling. Don't hold on to anything. Um, don't necessarily verbalize it too much because you know. Right, it can manifest. Retrogrades, you know. We might miscommunicate, but definitely... Um, definitely miscommunication could be in, at play. But journal about when, when things like that happen because it's coming up for a reason. It's something for you to still learn. If if previous same things come back again for you this time, this Mercury retrograde, it's really something for you to learn. So I need you to talk about it, to get rid of it. Gotcha, gotcha. I appreciate it, lady. You're Hello. welcome. Let me give you a quick piece of advice because as a Gemini, you're my zodiac opposite i'm a sagittarius so you know we kind of compliment and um as far as being opposites we're the most innocent opposition in the zodiac our parent um be very careful uh, um because you are communicating Mm sign over the course of this retrograde and especially through this chaotic full moon top with a uh, so uh, with an eclipse before mm-hmm. you send out a text, yeah, read it, three re-read times. it, re-read Not it, twice, please do thrice, okay? Because we do stuff in haste, yeah. And you'll be texting, 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 and you know how autocorrect or kick something in before you even see it, and you hit it. Make sure you check your messages, emails, everything before you send them. Think about what you're about to say, especially if you're in a high emotional state. Be very wary of that, and you'll get through the chaos of this. You're a Gemini. Mm-hmm. Just don't get stuck. Just don't get stuck on one thought. That's all. Balance it out. That's right. Yep. Yeah. That's right. So look, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles came out as you was talking anyway. So yeah, you are gonna get out of whatever it is. You got this. Whatever it's. Yeah. yeah absolutely. No doubt. No question. Peace. Thank Appreciate you, you calling, sis. Later. That's it. I guess that's it. Well, yeah, we got. I'm just. Close out with these last two messages we got here, y'all. Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. This Eight of Swords can talk about us being in self-entrapment, okay? Mm-hmm. So be mindful of this so Mercury sabotage. retrograde to not self-sabotage, not to get stuck on one thought, release, illusion, okay? Plan your next move is what you can do. Even though Mercury retrograde, we're not supposed to sign any contract, you're not supposed mm-hmm. to move too don't forward, but you can plan, okay? But That's just don't move forward. You're going to have to get grounded and gain balance. 
Absolutely. And just, yeah. Allow yourself to make mistakes, but just Period. don't jump into too many. Don't beat yourself up over them and get stuck in, like she said, that pattern that of... That pattern of... That, that. And repeating the same cycles. I want to say, anybody who's stuck in a, in a toxic relationship um, and repeating cycles and repeating patterns with the same person, mm-hmm. God say it's time to stop. It's Let no it more... It's no... It's this dead. Okay? It's Y'all going to have a lot of people coming, trying to come back in this Mercury retrograde. Okay? Yes. I'm talking about... They coming out Wait till the retrograde works, is okay? over. See if they come back See then. if they come Tell back Hold on. I'll holler at you in a couple of weeks. When don't even... Retrograde? Don't even talk. Okay? So the retrograde is going to be over June the uh, 2nd. 2nd. But it won't be out of the shadow till the 18th. So just be mindful of that. Yeah, because if any of y'all know this, has been a little rough the last couple last of weeks. Couple of, talk yeah, about the shadow. It's in the shadow. <laughs> my, it's <laughs> acting crazy already. Retrograde. So yeah. definitely. So you yeah. still some time. If they come back, tell them, eh, I'll holler at you. July. Don't Give period. me the July. Don't All right. Y'all follow me on my group, Queens of Love. Those of you divine feminists who want to um get down with the queen, Queens of Love on Facebook All as right. well. Boom. Peace. Peace. We out. Two up, two down. Out of here. Radio.